Hey, if you look forward to Rocktober more than you look forward to your own birthday, you're in the right place. For what it's worth, I'm Murray Valeriano. Welcome to the only music and comedy game show that matters. Today I have three contestants who will test their musical trivia knowledge and their quick wit, but only one will rise above the rest to be crowned the king or queen of rock. Let's meet our players today. All right, joining us today, so glad to have you, comedian Jeff Capri. How's it going? Happy to be here. Can't wait. All right, how do you feel about this? You think you're going to, what do you, what do you think? I'm feeling pretty confident. I, uh, I'm feeling more confident in the music part than the funny part. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> luckily for us, we have a very funny comedian, Courtney Cronin, who will be picking up the humor. No pressure there, Courtney. <laughs> no, actually, I'm on the same page as Jeff. I'm, uh, I'm more, I think I'll be better at the music part, but I'm so excited to play because this is really fun. Thank you, Marie. Oh, that's awesome. I'm so glad you're here. And listen, if you guys are as funny as you claim to be, I got batting cleanup, which I know that isn't right because I don't play baseball or follow sports. <laughs> the very funny comedian Michael Gelbart is joining us. Thank you so much, sir. Hello. Hello, rock lovers. I'm super looking forward to the music part, and the comedy part is going to be terrible. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. I wish I'd written more jokes for this. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Listen, before we get started, there are a couple of things you guys need to know. I am giving you an advance of 25 points. It is up to you through strategic wagers and correct answers to build onto those points. All right, but be careful. Any wrong answer, you could lose points. So now that we got that out of the way, are you guys ready to rock? Yes. Yes. All right, let's go to the rock wall. There are six categories on the rock wall. Each category has one question. Once you are given the category, you can wager up to one to five points of your advance. Once you wager, I'll read that question. If you get that question right, you get those points. If you get that question wrong, you lose those points. Today's categories are, we have Papa Don't Preach, Put a Ring on It, Cheap Trick, Flava Flav, In Through the Outdoor, and Canned Heat. All right, all categories are randomly selected for our players. Let's start with Jeff Capri. Let's shuffle up the rock wall. All right, Jeff Capri, in through the outdoor. How much okay. of your advance are you willing to wager? One to five points. Oh, uh, let's kick it out. I'm going five points right out of the gate. Right. Oh, balls to the wall out of the gate. I love it. I love it. All right, in through the outdoor for five points. Jeff Capri, in 1998, this lead singer declared himself the stately homo of heavy metal when he officially came out of the closet on MTV, <laughs> who is that homo? Oh, I think that would be Rob Halford. For five points, it would be Rob Halford. Absolutely. All right, good job. I know my homos. All right, well, all right. I'm already gonna get letters for that question, Capri. Don't <laughs> add on to it. Right. I was gonna say the state Leo. Anyway, that's what he calls them. Good job, five points for Jeff Capri. Jeff Capri, Courtney Cronin, we're coming to you. Let's shuffle the rock wall. Cheap oh. trick. Sounds like Cheap what I trick. for a living. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, how much of your of your advance are you willing to wager? One to five points. Oh, I listen to a lot of Cheap Trick, but I don't know a lot of like, like about them. So I'll do three. Three points. Three points at Cheap Trick. Here we go. In 2014, U2 got a lot of grief when they released their album Songs of Innocence to millions of people for free. Where did they release that album? On iTunes. They didn't release it on iTunes. Good oh, job. It. That was a trick. That was a cheap trick, Murray. <laughs> You're getting the hang of part, it. everybody. There was a comedy <laughs> part. All right, apparently let's stick to the music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody got mad for getting a free album, right? Like right. people were like, uh, excuse me, uh, we want our free music the way God intended, stolen. Thank yeah. you. Exactly. <laughs> they want to just add it to their library. I don't want this right. free music here. Seriously, come on. I'm going to save you 19 bucks. Michael Gelbart, let's shuffle up the rock wall, sir. Papa, don't preach. How much of your five. advance are you willing to wager? Five. Five points. Yeah, five always going to be five. Well, <laughs> spoiler alert on Michael Galbart. He's going five every time. <laughs> this is my 
motherfucker wants to win this thing. Respect, buddy. Respect. I wow, and I can't say homo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Papa, don't preach for five points. Yes. During an argument, Marvin Gaye was shot and killed by his father. What was his father's occupation? He was a preacher. He was indeed a preacher. He was indeed a preacher. Good job. Five points. I, myself, if you've ever seen my How act, I'm a preacher's kid. The question? I know, I know. That's not, <laughs> That's not my fault. I would, I would have gotten it anyway. It was, <laughs> I knew the answer though. Walker, we have to go to the judges. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. No, I interrupted he's, your he's joke correct. about Papa Don't Preach. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be about abortion because of the song. No, no, it's <laughs> I would have got that right. That was always funny. Yes. <laughs> Abortion's always funny. <laughs> All right, five points for Michael Gellibar. Jeff Capri, let's shuffle up the rock wall. All right. Canned heat. How much of your advance are you willing to well, Now that I know Michael's uh, strategy, I'm going to have to go with five. <laughs> five points. I like it. I like it. Balls to the rock wall. All right, in the category of canned heat. In 2003, a fire broke out at a Great White concert, sadly killing approximately 90 people. What state did this happen in? Oh, man. Uh, I, 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 it wasn't, I can tell you it wasn't Florida. It was, it was Rhode Island. It was indeed Rhode Island for five points. Wow, this guy. <laughs> Excellent. Also going down as the only thing uh, exciting to happen to Rhode Island in uh, ever, <laughs> really, <laughs> in ever. Courtney Cronin. <laughs> yes. Let's go to the rock wall. Shuffle okay. it up. Flava Flav. Oh, How much of your advance are you willing to? Per uh, I'll, I'll stick with these guys. I'll go five. All right. With an enthused five I'm points afraid. from Courtney Cronin. <laughs> Flava Flav. Some cultures believe it's good luck when a bird poops on you. But Cindy, Cindy Lauper would probably disagree after a bird pooped where? during one of her concerts. What? Okay, hang I'll on. I'll read it again. Some oh. cultures believe it's good luck when a bird poops on you, but Cindy Lauper would probably disagree after a bird pooped where during one of her concerts. In her mouth. In her mouth for Flavor Flav. Look at that, the answer was in the title, just like you complained about before for Michael Gellibart. There's five points for Courtney Cronin. I did, thank you so much. <laughs> We went and we rewrote that one in 30 seconds, just I for you. I had a feeling. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, Michael Gelbart, let's shovel the rock wall. Put a ring on it. How much of your wager are you willing to, how much of your advantage are you willing to wager, sir? One. No, I'm going five. <laughs> oh, I heard one. I heard one. I is know. It, is I, it heard was, one? I heard yeah, one. I heard one. But I meant five. <laughs> mm, mm. As long as the question hasn't been asked yet, uh, I, I, I'm going five. All right, we'll go five points with Michael Gellibart. During a concert in Sweden, Lenny Kravitz split his pants open, revealing that he wasn't wearing underwear, but he was wearing what? Oh, we got a thinker, ladies and gentlemen. We got a thinker. A thong? No, a thong is underwear, right? Right? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, okay, if you're not wearing underwear and you're wearing something, pajamas? No, that would not be. I'm gonna go with a thong. We're gonna go with a thong. That is incorrect, sir. I am sorry. I got, I got one wrong on the show? You got one wrong. You got one wrong. You should have gone with one point. You should have gone with one point. Courtney Cronin, do you want to make Michael Gelbart look foolish? It was a, a C-O-C-K ring. It was a cock ring. It was a cock ring he oh, was wearing. Geez. I don't like saying that word. But then why did you then why did you volunteer to say it? I just uh, <laughs> because I knew the answer because it's a dream I've had many oh. times. Jeff, we went to see Lenny Kravitz. Yes, we did. We did. We went and saw Lenny Kravitz twenty almost twenty years ago. Yeah. I saw Lenny Kravitz open for you too, and nobody wanted him there. All right, no oh, points wow. for Michael Gallagher. Open for you two too and they loved him. Oh, it was a different show. I saw him at the Angel Stadium. He he did Let Love Rule for 20 minutes of his 25 minute set. It was painful. <laughs> oh wow. I saw him open for Bowie years ago too. That that then they didn't want to see him because no one knew who he oh, was. Yeah. Totally. All right. No points for Michael Gelbart. That wraps up the rock wall. Let's tally up these scores and see who's winning. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, the scores are in. The scores are in. I think it's a close game. We got Mike Michael Gelbart, 25 points. Did not gain any ground in the rock wall. Did not gain any ground in the rock wall. Uh, Courtney Cronin coming in second with 33 points. Jeff Capri in the lead, 35 points. It's still anybody's game, man. It is still anybody's game. Let's see how many points we can rack up in today's mashup. Today in the mashup, it's cueing on a song. I feel like QAnon is missing a good theme song. If they had a good theme song, maybe they could recruit more members. So players, I want you to take a classic song, rewrite those lyrics to help recruit members to QAnon. And if I like your lyrics, I'll give you five points. If I don't like them, no points. Is it completely subjective? Absolutely. Is it my show? My name's on it. All right, Jeff Capri, we're gonna start with you. Jeff Capri, if Prince was to recruit QAnon members, how do you think that would go? Oh. Well, you'd have to go with, uh, you'd have to redo Let's Go Crazy because those QAnon people are already <laughs> crazy. So uh, I think we're going like, I think uh, that might be already. I'm pretty sure that's not a good recruiting tool, calling them crazy, but yeah. have at it. It's you. Have okay, at let's it. try. Yeah. Let, I mean, all right. So it would be something like, if you don't like the state you're living in, <laughs> take a look around. At least you got freaks. I called Marjorie Taylor. For an angry word, <laughs> she picked up the phone, dropped it on the floor. Q, Q is all I heard. Yes, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> awesome. And he got my favorite part of that song that ah, ah, is all I heard, man. Yeah, Q, Q. That was great. That was great. You know what? Um, even though I think you could probably recruit more members with uh. Darling Nikki, I think I'm going to give you five points anyway. Okay, yeah, I'll work on that one. <laughs> All right, yeah, come on, and queuing on. Who doesn't want to see Nikki masturbating to a magazine <laughs> with a cock ring? Courtney Cronin. Oh, I'm Just glad no you're of me. Um, okay. If you felt, if you were, if you felt Billy Joel mm -hmm. was going to recruit members for QAnon, how do you think it would go? Okay, so I chose um, uh, scenes from an Italian restaurant. My favorite Billy Joel song. Love that song. song. My favorite and Billy Joel I'm song. I'm gonna I'm gonna mess it up a little bit, so forgive me because uh, just forgive me. I just thought it was the right song. Okay, so all here's right. mine. It's all in the sales. It's all in the okay. sales. All right. So hang on. Let me get the lyrics in front of me here. Okay. A bottle of white. A bottle of white. <laughs> <laughs> they only like things and people that are white. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's a conspiracy in their heads. I want to punch them in the face. <laughs> they say they're the master race. Awesome. Your... Hang on, there's one more. Sorry. Oh, so go. Let's go. One more. All your plans fail. You're all off the rails. But, 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 but Hillary's emails. <laughs> I'll debate you anytime you want at that satanic pizza restaurant. Yes! <laughs> so, so, Courtney Cronin. You know what? All the gay guys who are mad at us about the homo, we got them back dissing on QAnon. I think so. <laughs> oh, Courtney. Man. So funny. I wish I could give you more than five points. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. Good job. Good job. Michael Gelbart. If, uh, if I get my five points, they all got five, right? And five is the most I can get. So even if I get my five, I'm dead last still. I can't, even if I, even no matter what, I'm still last. Um, okay. Um, you're taking the fun out of the game. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just, I thought. We got another game where you can rack up the points. Maybe you shouldn't have fucking took a shit on the rock wall. I wasn't trying to. <laughs> I thought that was a funny thing to say. I, uh, all right, so this is not a recruitment song. Okay. The tune of Fleetwood Mac's Rhiannon. Okay. <laughs> close to QAnon. Anyway. Oh, yeah, totally. They aren't grooving and they've been disproven and we all kind of hate them. They made claims that were culty and lame and no one wants to date them. <laughs> QAnon. Q That's all I've got for that. <laughs> That's fantastic. I, you know what? 
I think I, it's so great. I think they're going to attract members, even though it's not a QAnon recruitment song. I think you did it so well. You're probably going to bump up their membership by 20%. Do I, but do I get five? Can I try okay. one more song? Because I wrote a second song. All Are right. You? Okay. Okay. This is to the tune of Rapper's Delight. <laughs> QAnon and on and on and on and on conspiracies till the break of dawn. That's all I got for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Either one would have got you five points, my oh, good. Brother. Congratulations. All right. All right, let's rack up these points and see who's winning this thing. All right, the scores are in. The scores are in. It is a close game. It is a close game. I'm not lying. We got Michael Gelbart, who, uh, 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 foreshadowing, got the five points he wanted. Got the five points he wanted. I, 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 if, I, if, if it was up to me, I would have given you another five for the two songs, but... Somebody wrote the rules and I have to abide by them. So I apologize, sir. I apologize. By the way, I wrote the rules. Courtney Cronin coming in 38 points, 38 points and right behind Jeff on his rear. That doesn't make sense. Jeff Capri, he's got 40 points, 40 points. It is really, I'm telling you, it is anybody's game at this point. And we're coming up on our last game where you can really rack in some points. Let's go to the jam. Today in the jam, to paraphrase Billy Squire, it's time to put your emojis in emoji. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Players, I am going to text you a series of emojis that spell out a band's name. Once you figure out that band's name, I want you to buzz in. For every right answer you get, we'll give you five points. For every wrong answer, no points. We can really rack up a lot of points in this round. So get your buzzers ready. Let's go. All right. Oh, Courtney Cronin was first. World Party. World Party is correct for five points. Jeff Capri, you buzzed in second. Did you have that? I did. All right. You had that. Michael Gelbar, you didn't buzz in. Did you not have that? Uh, yeah, I only had it once Courtney said it. <laughs> <laughs> well, then an honor. How about an honorary five points? That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> All right, I'm going to clear your buzzers. We're going to get ready for the next emoji. Oh, that was a close. Courtney Cronin again by a hair. Three Dog Night. Three Dog Night is correct. Jeff Capri, Michael Gelbart, did you guys have that? Yes, uh, we did. No, I had, I had the, uh, I had the Sleepy Pet Shop Boys. Oh, <laughs> so close, so close. Free Let me send you your next emoji. Let me send you your next emoji. This is a tough one. This is a thinker. I'm going to give you guys five more seconds. Two, one. Oh, oh we got it under the buzzer. Courtney, you want to give it a shot? Yeah, I, no, I, I don't. I, I, I was going to say something, but I think it's wrong. So I'm just not going to say anything. <laughs> Why don't you try for points? Mamas and the papas. I, where did you get that? <laughs> I tried it. Girl shirts and boy shirts. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's I'm... a little bit of a thinker. It's a little bit of a thinker. It's the four tops. Oh, the that's really tops. good. Yeah, the woman's shirts threw me off. That yeah, was... yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like a gender one. It is a yeah, well, top. you know what? I don't see gender. All right, let's go on to the next emoji. We got Jeff Capri. Oh, duh. well, thank you for making this one. That's Ice Cube. That is Ice Cube. Good call. Good call on that one. Let's send out your next emoji. The honey drip. Let me call out who's in, please. But you are correct, Courtney, and you did chime in first. Oh, we did chime in first. Fastest finger on Courtney Cronin. You're right. That is the honey drippers, the honey drippers. I hope that honey jar is to your liking and not as such a bummer as the spinning top, Jeff Capri. Let me send out your next emoji. Oh, Jeff Capri. Oh, <laughs> that would be the Tom Tom Club. 
That would be the Tom Tom Club. Okay. Welcome back to MySpace. All right. Welcome now, is that a real one. emoji? Can I find that on my phone? Uh, yeah, you can get it after you get the spinning top. Let's okay. send out your next right. emoji. <laughs> Jeff Capri. Uh, 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 pucks and roses. <laughs> Sorry, it is not pucks and roses. Uh, somebody else chimed in. Uh, Courtney Cronin chimed in. Actually, they are a cover band. They cover Guns N' Roses sub on hockey rinks. So oh, I'm sorry. That's actually right. true. Okay, well, we'll save that for our cover band uh, episode. <laughs> Courtney Cronin, did you buzz in? I did, but it's it's curling something. Um, I'm going to need an answer. Sorry, Michael Gelbart, any guesses? Idea. Well, yeah, uh, cur something, cur any band that starts with curling and then has some sort of flower in it is my answer. <laughs> so close, so <laughs> close. For our Canadian fans, the curling, oh. the curling ro is called a stone and it is the Stone Roses. Oh. The Stone Roses. Uh. I'm from Canada. I'm from Wait, Canada. Wait, you're Canadian? It, yeah, but we never called it a stone. We just called uh, it a curling thing. You know, it would have been good there if you, if you used the, the top. The spinning oh, top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have been, that would have been good there. <laughs> All right. Oh, Courtney Cronin with a close Michael Gelbart. You could pick it up if she gets it wrong, Michael. I'm going to. Okay. Mountains of Wayne. Damn it! It is Mountains of Wayne. It is. Yeah. Very oh, good. I knew strategy and I knew it too. <laughs> hey, uh, in Canada, do you guys call those things fountains? Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> those I'm a tough. big Fountains of Wayne fan. I love them. I, I grew up. Too. I grew up next to. I grew up next to Wayne, New Jersey. Oh, that's you did? Hometown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. see, that's what I didn't get. I should have uh, the that's Wayne, New Jersey. Jersey. Mm. Uh, All right, here we go. Let me send out your next emoji. Jeff Capri. Adam and the Ants. Adam and the Ants. Good call. Look, I thought you were going to say Adam Ant. I was going to I was going to call a foul on that. Ah, but look at me. Those look are clearly you. that's an Adam and that's an and and the ants. That's right. Adam and the ants. Excellent. Let me send out your next emoji. Okay, Michael Galbart, bring it in. And the last one, Michael Galbart, we're all pulling for you. Well, Frozen, right? <laughs> Frozen. What band has Frozen? Frozen Monkeys. No, that's not the name. <laughs> Frozen Chimps, that's not it either. <laughs> Frozen. I'm giving you five seconds. How many seconds, guesses sir? does he get? I'm giving you five seconds right. to come up with the Frozen them. part right. I can't tell you that. <laughs> Well, no, because I could start over. I could start my thought process over if I had the first part right. Ice teeth, ice teeth frozen. <laughs> I, I, I tried it the Courtney way. It doesn't work for me. I, I, don't know. Right. I lost the game. All right, Michael Galbart, our next bring in is Jeff Capri. Uh, I think that is the Arctic Monkeys you're looking for. It Michael. is the Arctic Monkeys. It is the Arctic Monkeys. You look good on the dance floor, I believe, is their song. Hey, can you, how, come, how come okay. when, when you're showing a, a place on a map, you, you show a map for it, and the Arctic is also on a map, but then you show a, a guy freezing? Like, like, if it was a part of a map, I'd be able to say that's the Arctic, but this <laughs> is the guy freezing. Do we know for sure you could pick out the Arctic on a map? No, we oh, don't. You're Canadian. You're Canadian. You're right. You probably can't. American educational system can't. Canadian educational. You're right. Unfair. Still no points. <laughs> Jeff I, knew where Wayne, I knew where Wayne was. <laughs> All right. Let's tally up the points. Let's see who won this thing. All right, the scores are in. This was a fantastic game, guys. Thank you so much for playing, man. I hope you guys had a great time. I'd love for you guys to come back and do it again. It, it was fantastic. Yes. But sadly, Anytime. 
The numbers tell the story. We have Michael Gelbar in third place, a respectable showing, sir, 30 points. I don't feel respectable at all. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait to come back now that I understand everything. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, maybe next time you'll read the email before I send it out. Courtney Cronin. <laughs> Courtney, <laughs> Courtney Cronin, a respectable second place with 58 points. 58 points. Congratulations. And, in Michael's defense, by the way, I've played this before too. So I have played before also when you were working it out. Okay. I think so. That's I just want right. to come back but in. 30 was really, really bad. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. 58. Thank you. I was excellent job. 61, but <clears throat> and with 60 points, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Capri, you are this week's king of rock. There is none to hire. Oh, Some you MCs can. call me sire. That's right. Gene Simmons has oh, something yeah. to say. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations, Jeff Capri. Congratulations. Thank you very much. I, I on feel, a well deserved win. Awesome. Guys, I want to thank you for playing. I want to thank the eye in the sky, Walker Yule on the tech side. I want to thank Jeff Capri. I want to thank Courtney Cronin. I want to thank Michael Gelbart. You guys are fantastic. I hope you'll come back and play again sometime. And people remember, when life gets you down, always remember what Prince said. Shaboogie. <laughs> All right. For what it's worth, I'm Murray Valeriano. Good night, Los Angeles. We love you. <laughs>